guys what's up welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video i just got back from the gym and i only took a couple clips of my workout because it was so crowded at the gym and it's so hard to get clips when it's like that so obviously i did more exercises than i just showed but i tried to get as many as possible yesterday i got a new box from one up nutrition they sent me all of their new limited edition flavors that are launching on february 3rd which by the time you're seeing this they will already be live i just took the new pre-workout this morning it's sour cherry which was so good i loved it so much and now since i am taking creatine i'm gonna take this new flavor the pure rebuild in mango lemonade i'm a big mango fan and mango lemonade sounds absolutely delicious so i can't wait to try this so we have a bit of a situation this morning we actually have no water in the house because apparently there was some kind of leak yesterday and they're fixing it across the entire complex like no one has water it was supposed to be fixed yesterday but they didn't finish and now they are scheduled to fix it between 9 and 4 today which obviously i'll be gone before they even begin work so i do not have water all morning i could have planned ahead and brought shower materials to the gym but it's okay we just did an upper body workout today i'm really not sweaty at all so we can skip a shower this morning it's fine but that does mean that i need to ration my water while i am like doing breakfast and stuff so i don't have a ton of water to mix up my creatine Mmm, I love it. Also, Carl's here. <laughs> I'm actually going to be dropping him at the airport or at the train to get to the airport on the way to work today. So he's almost on his way out, but he has been here all weekend to celebrate his friend's birthday and hang out with me. You are in a mood today. Also, I was wearing a new workout set today. It's from Crazy Yoga on Amazon. I'll link it down below. I also have it saved on my storefront. I'm gonna do a haul for you guys later because I do have a couple other items as well, but I love this set. It is so comfortable, so well made. The fabric is so buttery soft. I'm obsessed. I also love the navy color. I've been really into navy lately. I feel like it's so flattering, but I'll show you guys the rest later. Right now, I need to finish getting dressed and ready for work, and then I'm gonna come back downstairs and make my breakfast. mood this morning she keeps like yelling at me in such a weird way <laughs> i gave her breakfast but i don't know what's up got my creatine gonna finish this up and then i just warmed up a breakfast sandwich that i had in the freezer i meal prepped them last week and i had enough for this week as well actually so that's awesome because it saved me a lot of time in meal prepping this week but the navy went into a drawer somewhere in my room and i can't find which drawer i put it in I mean, you only have so many drawers, right? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I've got my lunch ready to go. We've got my big salad, the light Caesar dressing, always my favorite. Then I've got some chicken meatballs from Trader Joe's with the Carolina Gold barbecue sauce. You guys already know, I pretty much eat the exact same thing for lunch every single day. I'm a creature of habit, but it's also just really easy to do the same thing. I don't have to think about it. Now there's like a sliver of sun every time that I leave for work now. It's kind of nice. All right, y'all, I just got home from work and now it is time to do a one-up nutrition haul. They sent me so many goodies for their new upcoming lunch on Friday. So I want to share all the limited edition items that are launching this week in case you want to check them out. You guys already saw me take this pre-workout this morning because I was so excited to try it. It is the sour black cherry flavor. This was so insanely delicious. I would probably say it's my number one pre-workout flavor so far. I love a black cherry flavor. I just love like all fruit flavors and it was so good. So if you love pre-workout, I would definitely check out this flavor. Also launching is the Pure Rebuild in Mango Lemonade, an insanely delicious flavor. I tried this this morning as well and it was so good. As you guys know, I've been taking creatine for the past few weeks and I truly feel like it's making a difference in the gym way more than BCAAs or EAAs ever did for me. I'm really focusing on building muscle so this is very important to me. If you are working on building muscle as well, I would definitely recommend. I did say that I would do a review after taking it for a few weeks and I definitely think I'm seeing a difference. But mango lemonade is a delicious flavor, top notch. This one I haven't tried yet, but I plan on trying it tonight.
tonight. It is the new collagen flavor in peach mango. I am a huge peach mango fan. I'm definitely seeing a theme going on here with the fruit flavors. I feel like this flavor is going to be so good. We'll definitely do a taste test of this tonight. Another fruit flavor, this is the orange creamsicle protein powder. I'm not really a protein powder person, mostly because I don't know how to use it in a way that I like will enjoy it. So if I can find a good way to use this that I would actually like it, I'd love to test it out, but don't hold me accountable to that because usually I just don't love protein powders. But if you love orange creamsicles and protein powder, obviously this would be a great option for you. And lastly, one of the most exciting items is the One Up Nutrition Brookie. You guys all know that cookies are my favorite desserts ever, so obviously I'm so excited about these. One Brookie is 260 calories, five grams of collagen, and 15 grams of protein. They are non-GMO gluten-free. Since I love cookies so much, I love having a healthier dessert option. So this is what they look like. This is the size. So if you've been looking for a healthier cookie option, this is definitely the way to go. I would highly recommend these. Like I said, all this stuff is launching on Friday, so it's gonna be live before you see this video. I'll leave a link to the products down below. And as always, you can use my code Teresa for 20% off. I have worked up quite the appetite, so let's go make some dinner. All right, I've got a whole feast of leftovers. I have this hunk of chicken shawarma. It's the one that's pre-marinated from Trader Joe's, so I need to eat this up. I'm gonna pair that with some rice, but I'm also gonna add some rice from my leftovers from a Japanese restaurant last night because this is not enough. And then I'm also gonna add in some bell peppers, onions, and zucchini that I meal prepped for the week just to have as a nice vegetable side ready to go. I would eat the rest of my leftovers from this restaurant from yesterday, but I really need to eat this first, so I think I'll eat that tomorrow for dinner. But all I need to do is throw this in the microwave and warm it up. Looks delicious, a nice healthy balanced meal. I think I'm gonna top this with some soy sauce and red hot. And maybe watch an episode of TV because I feel like I haven't watched an episode of one of my shows in quite a while. <laughs> eating dinner, cleaning up the kitchen. I lit a candle. It smells like eucalyptus in here. It's so nice. And then I also did a voiceover, edited, and posted a TikTok. So I feel like all of the chores and work are done for the evening, and now I can just truly relax. I cannot wait to read a couple more chapters of my book before Colin gets home for the evening. Oh, still absolutely in love with this series. I have not been blowing through this book as quick as the first one, just because I haven't had as much time to read lately, but I definitely will coming up soon. I've already made quite a bit of progress though. Like I am going through it like at a moderate pace, I would say. But to end off the night with my eating, I am going to mix up this collagen, like I said, and I'll give you guys a little review on how the peach mango flavor is. And I also do have room in my diet for a brookie tonight. So I'm going to have one of these as my dessert. I just cleaned the counters. Are you kidding me? The warmer your water is, the easier it is to mix in collagen. I just refilled this pitcher, so it's not even cold yet, so it's mixing super, super well. But once it's mixed well, then I add the ice cubes in after, and it chills it perfectly. Mm-hmm. It tastes exactly as I was hoping it would. Peach mango deliciousness. Okay, yum. This looks insanely delicious. I really just wanted to do a vlog style video this week because I feel like we haven't had a chance to truly just catch up ever since I've been making my videos have a little bit more direction to them. But I definitely still want to sprinkle in some vlogs here and there, so let me know if you guys like videos like this as well. I actually feel really good about today. I feel like I accomplished a lot, and I definitely feel good going into tomorrow, which is a really important feeling for me. Just knowing that the kitchen's clean, I'm going to wake up, and I don't have to worry about it. I'm getting in all of my protein today. I've gotten over 115 grams of protein today, which I'm super proud of. I've eaten within my calories and my macros. I'm going to read a book tonight. I already posted a TikTok. I just feel like I'm 
of ticking off all of the boxes today and these are the days that I live for. I am such a go, go, go person naturally when I'm not doing something productive. I truly feel like there's something wrong and I'm fidgeting in my seat. I can't even sit down and watch a movie or a TV show for more than 20 minutes at a time because I feel like it's not productive and I'm itching to do something else. But there are obviously days where I am not motivated to do all of the things that I just did tonight and I really just want to relax and actually sit down and watch a movie and that's totally okay. Those days aren't as often for me but I'm really trying to learn to listen to my body and my mind and figure out what I really need. And tonight I needed a productive night with a little bit of reading in the end. If you guys have read this series, just so you know, I am on part two, if that means anything to you. And I'm gonna shut off the vlog tonight because this right here is the rest of my night before I go to bed. And we're gonna try to be in bed at 8.45. I haven't been the best at doing that lately, but we are going to try. sweater in a very long time and I can't tell if I love it or hate it. Like I love the pattern and it's super super soft but the neckline it's just not doing it for me. It's too like scoop neck e. Scoop necks aren't really the vibe. This morning I'm gonna eat some breakfast leftovers. Khan and I went out to breakfast the other day so I have some eggs, there's sausage, potatoes, more potatoes, bacon. I'm not gonna eat all of this but I think I will eat all of the eggs for sure and dish out some of the potatoes. Yeah, I've definitely decided that I do not like this cut of the neckline on this sweater anymore, but it's fine for the office. I just probably wouldn't wear it outside of the office. But breakfast is served. I love getting a classic breakfast at a restaurant because first of all, I feel like it's really easy to track. When you're just having a side of meat, eggs, and potatoes, it's really easy to plug into my fitness pal if that's something that you're doing. It's also a nice healthier option because you're really just eating a protein and some healthy carbs. And it makes really great leftovers. I think it's super easy to warm up. I don't mind eggs left over. I know some people are weird about that, but it doesn't bother me. So I really enjoy eating it as leftovers. Comment down below, are you a ketchup on your eggs kind of person? Personally, the reason that I put ketchup on eggs and hot sauce is because I hate eggs. I think that they taste gross on their own. So I'm genuinely just trying to cover up the flavor. You're probably wondering why I eat eggs if I don't like the flavor of them. And it's because I can cover the flavor easily and they're super like good for you and high in protein. And otherwise I feel like it's really hard for me to find a healthy breakfast if I don't include eggs as a source of protein in it. Cause other than that, I would truly just eat like bagels and pancakes and that would be the only thing that I would eat for breakfast. So I've just taught myself to tolerate eggs. So I am going to eat my breakfast. I did mix up my creatine as well. The mango lemonade flavor again, so good. Mm, oh my gosh, I am obsessed with all these new flavors. It has been like the best past two days. Probably gonna watch a little bit of YouTube while I eat my breakfast. I tried to read while eating lunch yesterday, some of my book. It is so hard to read and eat at the same time. No wonder people watch TV while they eat because it is just so hard to like focus on the book and like put a piece of food in my mouth. So I don't know if I'm gonna try reading while eating again. That didn't work out that well. All right, I just finished packing up my lunch for work. I did a nice big salad, cut up an apple as a snack that I'm gonna have later. And then I portioned out some of this chicken teriyaki from the leftover Japanese meal we had on Monday. Get some extra protein in, it's about like four ounces. And that should be all that I'm bringing to work today. All right, it's a while later and I'm officially home from work. I'm finally gonna show you guys all the activewear pieces that I got from Amazon. All of them are from Crazy Yoga, which is basically like a Lululemon dupe brand. They are all such high quality 
quality, amazing pieces. I'm so excited to show you guys. So this first set is the one that I wore this morning to F45. This is definitely my favorite by far, mostly because of the crossover leggings. I feel like they're the perfect dupe for the Vitality Daydream leggings, which I do have two pairs of, and they feel exactly the same as the black ones. I do think there is a slight difference between the straight up midnight black ones and the ones that have a little bit of a like pattern to it, the marl colored, but these are the exact same as the midnight black ones, I swear. And then this top is exactly like the Flow Y bra from Lululemon, which I do have two of, so I do know how they fit and how they feel, and it truly feels exactly the same. I got both of these in the taupe color, which is like a purpley shade of brown. You guys know that I love brown, so it's like the most perfect color ever. I'm obsessed. I will be wearing this outfit anytime that it is clean, but you can see the crossover detail here, which is super trendy and so cute. I'm obsessed. And this is what the bra looks like in the back. All these items fit true to size, so I got a medium in the bra and a small in the leggings, which is what I always get in all of my active wear. Next up, I got this tank top. It's like a ribbed material, and it's a little bit looser around the stomach, which I really appreciate, a little bit of extra room. I don't love tank tops that are completely skin tight, and I feel like this has like the perfect amount of room in it. It, of course, has a built-in bra, perfect for going on your hot girl walk or just wearing to the gym. I'm definitely gonna be wearing this when I start going on a walks again, which I have fallen off of. We don't need to talk about it. Again, the material is so soft and it does have that built-in bra, so it's got all of the support that you need. It just has a regular racer back and is super, super comfortable. I actually really like it with the crossover leggings, especially in the taupe color. I feel like this is the perfect combo. I just wore this outfit this weekend to a coffee shop and I seriously thought it was the cutest thing ever. I had to take so many pictures in it. All right. Outfit number two. This is the same lookalike flow Y bra, only in the true navy color. I love navy. I feel like it's so timeless and looks good on everyone. These leggings are the exact same fabric as the crossover ones. They're supposed to be like a Lululemon Align dupe. I personally don't have actual Lululemon Align leggings. I do have the shorts version and they feel extremely similar to me. Like this fabric is so insanely buttery soft. I think that's even the name of the collection. I think it's called Butterlux. So if you don't like the crossover version of the leggings and you just like regular ones, these are definitely the way to go. They fit so well. Again, I got a size small in these leggings as well and a medium in the top. Also got a medium in the tank top, which is normally what I order when I order shirts. This is what the fabric looks like up close. It's just so soft and comfortable. I'm obsessed. Lastly, I got this little quarter zip hoodie also in the true navy color. I just love navy. It's so timeless. I think I can even wear this to work. I think this might be a dupe for the scuba hoodie by Lululemon, which I also have never tried on, but this hoodie is so insanely soft. Like the inside, I don't know if you guys can see. That is a soft freaking hoodie right there. Oh my goodness. It's just got this little quarter zip here. It can go up pretty far. She's got a hood, even though I literally never wear hoods. Like, does anyone actually wear hoods? And it's got a pocket, of course. <gasps> There's even a pocket inside the pocket. I didn't even realize. And it also has a little them, you guys. I am so obsessed. You guys definitely need to check out these pieces from Crazy Yoga. They have such good quality items. I'll link them all down below. They're also saved on my Amazon storefront if you want to be able to refer back to them. I'm definitely going to be wearing this hoodie all night because it is a little bit chilly in the house. It's warming up this week. It's been like in the upper 60s lately, but it's still just like a little bit chilly in the house and I like to keep the windows open in the evening just to get some fresh air in the house so it does make it a tiny bit colder. All right, today was a big leftover day so I am eating up the rest of this chicken teriyaki rice and some vegetables that I had pre-made here at home along with a couple pieces of sushi. I've got three California, one green, a ton of sushi ginger, my favorite. So I had leftovers for breakfast, a little bit of lunch, and dinner. I'm a big leftovers fan. Why would I cook when I don't have to? I could just bring home the rest of this meal. It's delicious. I have truly been reading ever since I ate my dinner tonight. It's the only thing that I wanted to do. I've made really good progress though I'm like almost halfway this book is definitely very different from the first book but I still really like it it is a little bit slow going in the middle though not like the other book but I'm very happy with my progress and I looked at the clock and it's already 8 30 I had no idea how quickly time was passing by so I do need to get ready for bed I'm gonna put on my PJs go brush my teeth I was just staring at Gita right now she's been sitting next to me this whole time she just wanted to sit next to me so badly so I moved to the couch just for you. 
it is so cold in the living room we still have not figured out why the heating and cooling is so uneven in the house the downstairs will be so freezing and then upstairs is so warm and then it's the opposite in the summertime it's really really cold upstairs and super hot downstairs so something is very like off with the heating and cooling i don't know what it is but this jacket has been so nice down here i might even wear this to work tomorrow i think but i'll see you guys in the morning i might go to the gym tomorrow thursdays are usually my rest days but on saturday i actually need to work i don't know though my body feels very sore today so we'll see how i feel when i wake up in the morning maybe i'll even just go and like walk on the treadmill or the stairmaster or something like that just to get my body moving a little bit you are so insanely cute this is not okay i know if i try to pet you though you're just gonna try to bite me <laughs> look at you okay time for bed good night Good morning, it's 6.30 and obviously I did not go to the gym. All right, my hair is definitely dirty. There is no line about that. I'm not even gonna bother putting dry shampoo in it though. I'm just gonna like slick it back into a clip and that's gonna be my hair for the day. But because of my little like front bang pieces that hang down, look at this piece. We cannot go to work like that. Like I don't do my hair for work. I truly don't care, but I'm definitely not leaving the house like that. I don't know what happened there. So we are going to fix this. Much, much, much better. Just kidding, I changed my mind. I'm going to do the front pieces a little bit just because those are the pieces that are going to hang down a little bit, so I don't want them as greasy. I am using the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. I almost forgot the Tula Eye Balm. I love this. It's like the perfect cooling feeling under your eyes it's so nice it really just gives you like a little bit of glow it looks so nice okay i am very hungry this morning so we're adding a little extra onto my usual breakfast got a breakfast sandwich my usual berries then i added on three ounces of potatoes and hash browns this should definitely keep me full then i obviously have my greens fruit punch flavor it's been my favorite lately all right i finished getting ready i even picked up around the house a little bit took out the trash cleaned up the kitchen a little bit just tried to spruce up the place i love doing at least one chore before leaving the house it just gives me peace of mind and reminds me that i actually did something to take care of the house and it won't be a hundred percent a disaster when i get home just like 90 percent. put my hair up in this little clip and i am wearing the hoodie that i said i was going to wear today for work i'm wearing it with black jeans and it's such a dark navy you can hardly even tell a difference but I think you can kind of wear navy and black together right I don't really have any other pants that would go with it I have regular jeans but I feel like I've worn those way too many times already this week I'm actually gonna head out a few minutes early today because I want to stop at Duncan on the way to work and get a large iced tea I just want to treat myself this morning and feel a little bit of happiness in the form of caffeine because who doesn't love some caffeine in the morning Gita is already perched in her usual spot for the rest of the day this is exactly where she is sitting when I come home I can see her in the window and she's just looking at at me until I come inside. I'm just so happy that there's actually a shred of sunlight before I leave for the work day. When it's pitch black when you still leave for work, like it is so disheartening. I'm sure any of you who work an office job know it's just so sad, literally never getting to see the sun in the wintertime. But the days are starting to get longer and it makes me so happy. Can I get a large unsweetened black tea? Okay. And that's it. Thank you. All right, my iced tea has been acquired. Oh shoot, I forgot that I was gonna ask with lemon. Oh, dang it. I just love a Dunkin' team, so good. And with that, I need to finish driving into the office, so I'm gonna end the video off here. I hope you guys enjoyed watching these past few days in my life. It was definitely really nice to switch it up and just do a chill vlog and hang out with you guys. So with that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video.